What's up everybody? Sky Spider here, Magic Veteran and Queen of Tarantulas. Uh, we have another interesting video here. So the White Weenie Archetype and Pioneer has been doing very, very well for me. Um, as you've seen, the, uh, the main build is this one right here. This is just the mono white version. And as you've seen on my channel, I've been running the Silesnia version, which has done very, very, very well for me. Uh, lots of 4-1 finishes. I still haven't hit the elusive 5-0 with it, uh, but I'm getting close, very close. Um, so I've got some requests on the channel that since green has done so well for me, what happens if we take that mono white list and splash the other colors in with it? Well, my last video I did Boros, uh, which you guys saw worked very, very well. This was the Boros build. But another one I wanted to explore, uh, the blue one doesn't really work much at all. There's not a lot there to, to play with. But Orzhov. Orzhov has a lot. Um, aside from just getting better removal with Fatal Push so I can play at instant speed, there are a ton of really good knights in black. Uh, and knights, as we've learned from the Silesnia build, make worthy knight just bonkers. Uh, being able to poop out tokens frequently from it uh, is just incredibly useful. <clears throat> so I went ahead and worked on um, a black build. And uh, what we're looking for with, uh, besides just the Fatal Push, I've got Falmire Knight in here. Um, it can be played for extra card draw, and just having a Death Touch blocker slows down a lot of decks. Gives you a lot of good tempo. Uh, we've got Order of Midnight to get our creatures back from the graveyard and have a flying attacker. Uh, Smitten Swordmaster can be a kill shot with Curry Favor. And otherwise, it's just a 2-1 lifelinker. Uh, we've got Midnight Reaper for extra card draw when our creatures die. We've, of course, got Murderous Riders for removal and a uh, nice creature that goes back in the deck. I've put an Athreos in here just for uh, just a way to ping people down if they kill our creatures. And if we happen to animate Athreos, it's a great attacker. Um, I threw in one Valiant Knight just to see how it plays. I've yet to draw it in a game. And as you can see, I went more with the Knight build than the humans. Uh, we don't have uh, Thalia's Lieutenant in here because there's a lot of zombie knights um, and stuff that just aren't human, so it's not gonna not gonna trigger as well. Uh, so I put a Metallic Mimic for one of our extra creature pumps. Um, this will make any knight that comes into play get an extra plus one, plus one counter. Uh, Venerable Knight, when it dies, it pumps up another knight. Uh, we've also got Arden Veil Tactician, which is another flying knight uh, that can play defensively with tapping up to two creatures. We can do that either to get in damage or to just keep stuff from attacking us. Uh, we have Corpse Knight in here just to ping our opponents down. Um, but yeah, the deck is working fairly well in the test games I've run. Um, I also have uh, Dusk Till Dawn uh, as a board wipe in here because it tends to leave the knights alone. And the aftermath can get our knights back into our hand, uh, which is really useful. So I'm not going to run this in a league just because I don't have time uh, to do multiple leagues with all these decks. But we are going to go into the tournament practice queue and hit up a few games here. And hopefully, like we did with the Boros one, we'll get some good representative matches and uh, show you guys how well this works. But yeah, I'm very happy with how flexible this white uh, weenie deck is in that we can actually do these other colors and uh, still make the deck work, and work well. Uh, the Boros one is doing almost as good as Silesnia, uh, to my great surprise. Um, I didn't think it would perform that well. Um, I've yet to see that good of a performance from this Orzhov one, but it's not bad. It definitely has potential, and in the right hands, uh, we might be able to get it up to a top-tier deck. So I won the... Uh, die roll, but we got no lands. Okay, we got lands here. 
We're definitely keeping. Um, what do I put on the bottom here? Poop. Kind of like all these cards. I think I'm going to put the passage on the bottom. Let's start out with a godless shrine and throw out a Falmire Knight. Make my opponent wonder what the hell they're playing against. Yeah, if you've got these in your opening draw, it's fine to drop them right away. Oh, looks like we got blue-white control. So this is going to be a rough matchup. I think my best bet for turn two is going to be the Worthy Knight. Since I'm not going to be using this for blocking, let's go ahead and swing. With uh, blue-white control, you got to worry about uh, actually doing some damage before Supreme Verdict hits the table, because they always seem to have it on turn four perfect. So now i got to watch out. Oh, okay, this is Bant, so Spirits maybe? Okay, Sylvan Carotid. Okay, I like seeing that nice and early. We just need to get a couple more knights out. So I don't believe this is going to trigger Worthy Knight. Yeah, it doesn't trigger it. Probably should have attacked first just to uh, see if I could bluff out damage from the Worthy Knight. So yeah, I could have done that attack phase a little better. Knight of Autumn. Okay, that's going to kill my Metallic Mimic, I bet. Yep. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, you didn't want to attack with the Sylvan? Ooh, we got Athreos, but we are land starved. Hmm. I can't fatal push the uh, knight unless something dies. Let's go ahead and get in for another one. I highly doubt they're going to block. But I've been surprised before. Yep, no blocks. Man, I wish I had a land for the murderous rider. Turns out giving up our, uh, our fetch land was a bad call. Well, you never know how you're going to draw. It's Zoidberg upstairs begging. It's almost his dinner time. That's what it is. There's Rachel in the background. She's home today. It is one of her days off. Hey, look, human token. And we are going to protect the worthy knight. Let's see if I can bluff here. Oh boy, collected company, of course. Should have seen that one coming. Oof. That's obnoxious. Oh, voices in Elemental 2. That's never actually come up for me before. Okay, so it looks like they just drew two cards. Yeah, they just drew two cards. Let's see if they block voice or resurgence. Yep. Probably should have done this before they blocked, but I forgot it was in my hand because I was thinking about the cat eating. They get their thing anyway, but I don't lose my worthy knight. 
And that triggers Risen Reef again. That's really good synergy. Sorry about the loud cat food noise. Sorry. It's okay. Hopefully I can get a land so I can use my Murderous Rider and get rid of that elemental. That thing is beefy. Granted, I can chump block with my human token, but I kind of like to keep it. And we have Teferi. I don't think I'm going to win this match. chump block here. I don't want to drop down to 10 yet. <clears throat> land? Yes. We got the land. This is instant speed. That is good. I have a feeling if I attack to fairy with my knight that they're going to chump block. Still, I can get something off the table. Like, they're getting crazy value off this. This is another thing that could possibly kill me. Let's try and get Teferi out of here. Oh yeah, that kills Planeswalkers too. Still, this is the easy way to get them out. And then I can use that on the elemental token when they attack again. Yeah, yeah, rub it in that I didn't keep my Fable Passage. Ooh, Ice Age Planes. Don't see that one often. Another annoying blocker, because those are hard for me to get through right now. Scoos. That deck has a very good battlefield. So we're going to swift in this guy. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch, I hate Spell Queller. That's like one of my most hated cards. Boo. Ugh, six damage. Yeah, if I take, or seven damage now. If I take it, I'm just done for. Yeah, we got starved on land this game, and it definitely affected, definitely affected me. I really don't think I want to show them anything else. They're, they've definitely got the win. So let's just see if they show me anything else. Keep my Death Toucher up to block the Elemental. They might just swing the Spell Queller. We'll find out. Yeah, I have less faith in this Orzhov build than I do the uh, the Boros one. Yep, I'm about to die. Well, no, they can only deal 12 with what they have on board. Got any way to pump them? Oh, yeah, the scoos. Can you do one more? There you go. You've got the win. You're just doing too much now.
There we go. All right, let's see what we've got for sideboard here. I hate that pile view. I like the board wipe, and I like Gideon. I don't really see anything else I really want in this build. Keeping these in to deal with spell quellers for sure. I think Order of Midnight can go. Then we need to pull one more card. Hmm. I really don't want to pull my smaller stuff, but my smaller stuff is really weak to uh, spell queller. Grabs anything three or less, and that's pretty much my whole damn deck. And Zoidberg starts yelling. Let's pull one of the fatal pushes. Or, no, I don't want to do that. Let's see, I'm going to be on the play this time. Yeah, he's going to be loud. He's happy that he ate. He's thanking us. I'm sure that's probably echoing in the mic really loud. If it is, my apologies. This is not a great hand, but at least it's got land. As long as I don't flood. Okay, first turn Dauntless Bodyguard. <clears throat> Next turn I'll probably go with the Temple of Silence. Okay, we'll actually get to play Athreos this game. I'm dying to see how that card does. Oh, uh, we want that on top. Okay, we got good stuff coming up. Might actually play that for turn three. Isolated Chapel. I can't swing through the uh, the carotid, so I'm not going to even deal with that. Yeah, let's go with History. Then I'll aim for Athreos on my next turn. Or possibly the, the Arden Vale, just so they can get the, uh, the bump off of that. I'm undecided at the moment. No matter what I play, it's weak to Spell Queller. Okay, I don't have to worry about Spell Queller this turn. Okay, they got a land off of it. And we got a goose. That goose is so awkward to me. Okay, what are we doing this turn? I think I want to kill the Risen Reef for sure. Son of a bitch, I screwed that up. It cost three. Oh, that's a derp for the day. You can tell I don't play with fatal pushes very much. 
Um, in that case, I'm changing my plan and going with Athreo since they're going to try and block and kill the bodyguard. Or they can block and kill the bodyguard. I don't know that they will. So these are all going to get buffed up on my turn as long as they survive. Okay, they drew a card. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate this deck. Oh, it's a really good deck. You guys know I bitch just because I'm amused. Let's see, so history's gonna fall off, so I can't count on that for devotion. I've only got three. Let's be smart and do things after combat like a good magic player. I think voice is going to block my bodyguard. And they might let the knight through. Yep, called it. Oh, now they have to pay three life if they don't want me to have it back. And they drew a card off that. Hey, I got my card back. Go Athreos. So we're going to play Metallic Mimic. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop my Flyer. So it's a 3-4 Flyer. Which is really good with their current life total. This thing is way better than it looks initially. Just because it synergizes with all the night mechanics. I'm starting to think Decoration and Stone is better than Fatal Push in here. Okay, land on top of their deck. Elemental? Yeah, Elemental. I'm just going to auto yield to these. You get the land. And the next card is Risen Reef, and you're going to draw it. And then Castle Arden Vale on top. I play that card too. And I've got a 7-7 charging at my face. I think I just chump block here. With my token. That damage from those things just adds up so fast. You want to pay 3 life? Doesn't do anything, but you can pay 3 life. Be surprised how often that tricks people. Okay. So 
So I have no way to cast anything. I want to get in with my flyer first. that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a card off of this and then cast it. And then I've got a death touch blocker for the elemental. As long as it doesn't die. Okay, got a history which is nice. Love that comes in as a 2-2. Two -two. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm one, one away from having Athreos Devotion. So when I cast History, I'll get it. Yep, another Risen Reef, and you draw Tamio. And you get Castle of Antris. And you get Voice of Resurgence. Very nice. I'm going to play the Fabled Passage. Part is so good. And Hamio. Here comes tapping down my Death Toucher. Oof. I'm going to end up taking eight this turn because I don't want to block with the Mimic. Oh, geez. Here comes the army. If they were smart, they would have attacked with the Risen Reefs, too. So it's 12 damage. That puts me down to 5. Ooh, this is getting bad. Sucks that they stay tapped down. I think I want to attack with my Muta Vault. So we get a 3 3 Knight token. I think I'm going to leave Athreos up to block that elemental. Muta Vault's just going to get blocked by the Carroted. Save it for blocking. Let's just swing with the Flyer. I want to take out Tamio. I probably want to take out Tamio here. They can always block with their Gilded Goose. Yep, had a feeling they would. Tamio is just too much value to let her go that easily. So I'll probably plus her. Possibly targeting one of my creatures. Ugh. Here we go again. Three free cards. Scavenging Ooze. And Collected Company. Oh, wow. Joy of Joys. Sack the Fabled Passage. Get the planes off the top of the deck so Collected Company can work better. Yeah, I'm definitely just bested this game. This deck is way better than mine. That's surprising. I wouldn't have called those two being tapped. Why wouldn't they tap Athreos down? Have I got some way to get rid of my devotion? Yeesh. No matter how I block, I think I'm still dead.
Yeah, it's still five. Oh well. Well, that didn't go so well. Let's try again. At least it wasn't against a, or a game like that against uh, Blue White Control because then I would have been here for 50 minutes trying to do the same thing. Hey, we won the roll. Four land. Hands passable though. I'll keep it. It could be worse. Um. Yeah, I'll throw out the knight first. See what we got over here. Avatar says is it, but avatars don't mean anything. Although mine means something right now. Okay. Golgari. Uh, do I have a two drop I'm playing? I think I'll just drop the Temple of Silence. I don't know anything with haste and Golgari. You are going on the bottom. I'm fine for land. Interesting. So Golgari food deck. Weird. I don't think I've seen anything like this yet. Okay, so we got this guy. So we just need to get a whole bunch of uh, of knights into play. I'm not going to be able to fetch a land just because of the turn sequencing, so I think I'm just going to play the Knight of the White Orchid. This is sorcery speed, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm a turn behind because I've been playing my two drop on turn three and nothing on turn two. Oh, this deck is all foils. Nice. We got Nissa. She's going to fetch a basic forest. I think I want to play the Muta Vault this turn. No, I want to be able to get both these knights out. Don't think either one's going to be blocked. That's surprising. Don't think they noticed it has Death Touch. And we have Knights. This guy can give us an 8 life swing in a second using the Muta Vault as well. Card is really good in this format. Notice the many, many decks playing it. My decks all have happened to be tribal so far, so of course Muta Vault works for me. Kind of glad I had a playset from uh, Modern Merfolk. 
so I didn't have to pay the current price for them. I wish the way this game worked, they still made foil tokens off of foil cards. So it feels weird for this deck to be all foil and then the token not be. Oh, that's not good. Hmm, okay. Are you fighting my flyer? Yes, you are, I figured. So much for planning to do four damage with the Swordmaster. Swordmaster? Yeah, Swordmaster. That's pretty decent timing right there. Let's give him a swift end. Can activate the muta vault with itself. If I don't kill that, I'm not able to attack with anything. Oh yeah, the indestructible trigger. Oh, well, it still taps it so I can get in. the problem with playing new decks, you end up making a ton of mistakes. Difference is, I'm doing it on camera. There's a little bit of a life swing for me. It's just six, but six is still something. Now I've got both these guys set to come out. Next turn, probably. By the way, am I the only one that absolutely loves these frames? Like, they are just so pretty. Feels like you're playing a game with a storybook. More foils. Gives them another food for the wolf, though. Two more food for the wolf. Am I getting attacked with the wolf? No. Well, let's go ahead and get these guys out. Because I'm not attacking this turn. I missed my flyer. It'd be nice if I drew the uh, the knight that lets me return stuff from my graveyard to my hand. Wow, someone with an all foil deck. I have to admit I'm impressed. Can't imagine how annoying it was to try and pick up all those cards. Oh, that sucks. Here's my murderous rider. At least I'll gain two life. I think I'm going to block with my Venerable Knight and put the counter on the Swordsmith. No, no, let's just take it. I'm at 23, I can afford 4 damage.
You would have been better early game. You're very late. Let's see, if I animate both of those, I can get four to six damage through. So let's go ahead and do that. See if they're able to get another fatal push on me. I know the wolf is eating something here. Okay. Oh, are you going for a swamp for a fatal push? There's the swamp. I'm waiting for it. An abrupt decay. That was close. Can't do anything about abrupt decay. I'm starting to come to the conclusion that this Orzhov deck is not very good. Which sucks, because you guys know I love Orzhov. I mean, Tace is my avatar. We have achieved Kitty Cat. Hmm, just the one. Okay. Well, I do have five mana for this. At least I can get it out. Can't attack this turn. I'm just going to take the four again. Yep. No fair. You get to have it, but I don't. Oh, that just doomed us. Needed anything but a land. At least I can make night tokens with uh, circle. But yeah, I think I'm done for here. Make them have to use that other food token. It's up 3 2 from the, the circle, by the way. But that's not obvious. <sighs> Gilly Goose and Stomping Ground their hand.
Uh, do I want it there? Or do I want to? I don't think I get an ch option to change it. I should have activated the Mutavolt first. So Golgari food, Golgari or, geez, Jund. And another land, see so yeah, how we're done. We got nothing. I can annoy them though. Make them have to work for it. Just those two? Okay. I do need to block them both. High game too. Yep, you're sacking another food token, make it indestructible, make it bigger. I get it. Drawing a witch's oven. It feels almost like a uh, almost like a standard deck. If it weren't for the uh, well, the stomping grounds and the overgrown tomb are both in standard right now too. Am I losing to a standard deck? Well, no Fatal Push and Nissa. Okay. Abrupt Decay. Sacking the Cauldron Familiar now. Let's see if I can draw something playable here. Corpse Knight isn't bad. It's not going to save me, but it's not bad. I am kind of giving away what's in the deck, but whatever. I'm just having fun at this point. Yep, here we go. This is the combo I've heard of. Just for reference for next game, that's Wicked Wolf. Okay. I'm going to be bringing in... Uh... Oh god, now I'm blanking on the damn name. Sorceress Spyglass. Oh, kitty cat, why do you curse me so? Nice. That is really good in this deck. No wonder they're playing John. It's for that card. My Death Toucher, I'm guessing. Yep. Boo Urns. So yeah, Orsob is just getting its ass kicked, is what this is feeling like. Drawing another Witch's Oven. Drawing a Blood Crypt. Still dead, but I'm killing that motherfucker. Okay, 
Wicked Wolf. Let's try not to forget that name. I'm probably going to forget that name. Okay, stuff I want for sure. Spyglass for sure. Bean Slayer Paladin. Devout Decree. Yeah, those all look good. Fatal Push isn't doing me much good in this match. Still keep a couple in, I think. Hmm. I like the Midnight Riders just for attrition. Not drawing my worthy knights. It's really bothering me. It's like one of my best cards. Hmm. One more card to cut. I'm going to go with one of the Smitten Swordmasters. Pretty happy with how everything else did for the most part, even though it lost. Well, let's see if we can get one win with this deck. Yuck. Three lands. Hey, we got a Worthy Knight. This is a very good hand. And I can even put a land back and be okay. Waiting to see if they mulligan. So yeah, I can play Dauntless Bodyguard into Worthy Knight, into Corpse Knight, into Order of Midnight. Um, let's put the Godless Shrine on the bottom. I like the Isolated Chapel since it doesn't deal me damage. My opponent kept their full hand. Not good in an attrition matchup. I know Nika choose, always says I should uh, choose to take the draw. So he's probably right in this situation, but I don't know that other deck well enough to know if that's certain here. Like if this is akin to normal Jund. But goddamn, did they draw a lot of cards last game? First turn, Witch's Oven. And we get a Worthy Knight. Finally got an early game Worthy Knight. I know in my Silesnia build, this is one of the best cards in it. Corpse Knight is my next play for sure. Get in for four real quick. I get my human token, I get a Corpse Knight. Sadly these don't synergize with anything in this deck. But still getting the free extra creature every time I cast a creature is awesome. And just to clarify, I have gotten wins with this deck, just not on camera. Like, I do know it's weaker than the Boros build. Especially if you watched the last video, it should be obvious. Aww. Well, that's what... Order of Midnight is four. Okay, 
let's attack first. I know they can't cast anything, but I'm just trying to stay in good practice here. Wow, this has him down to five life. Okay, we want to alter fate. Get back the worthy knight. And then cast the worthy knight again. Knock them down to four. And I've got two more knights I can cast that'll knock them down to two. Actually, no, it'll kill them because of the, uh, the human tokens coming into play. Yeah, it doesn't care of their tokens. So we get a Worthy Knight trigger, then a Corpse Knight trigger. Then Corpse Knight triggers on the Order of Midnight again. Then I just play the Knight of the White Orchid and we are good. So we actually do get a win on camera. See, getting Worthy Knight in the opening draw makes a huge difference. Games where I don't see that, just they're not as good. Okay, so we got game two. I don't see anything I want to change, so I'm just going to submit. My opponent's probably more geared to sideboard now that they've seen more of the deck. Or how the deck plays, I should say. Yeah, I don't see anything else I would change here. Go to card view while we're waiting. guys can pause the YouTube video to get the full deck list here. Or you can just go to my little scrolly McDo and uh, see the full deck list on my tapped out page. Also, you can go by my Patreon because I do need Patreon followers. Patreon makes decks like these po possible so I can actually try these other archetypes for you guys. So it should be on the draw this time. Still waiting for them to decide. Any time now you can decide. Okay, they're going to play first. Got three lands, I've got two worthy knights. I like this hand a lot. I like the Midnight Reaper, I like the Fatal Push. We are good. This is beautiful. And a Murderous Rider, so this got even better. No turn one play, but worthy knight into worthy knight feels really good into either Midnight Reaper or Murderous Rider. I'm reluctant to play the Urborg because they benefit from it as well. I'm going to kind of save that until I don't have any other land to play, probably. Uh oh, it's a worthy night.
Yeah, if I play Arborg, that just turns into an overgrown tomb for him. Tireless Tracker's really nice. I bet they won't block it if I attack. And if they do, I get rid of a Tireless Tracker, which is nice. You know what? Let's play the Midnight Reaper, get the token, and attack with the Worthy Knight. See what they do. I think they're less likely to block once the Reaper's out, which is perfectly fine by me. And again, if they block it, I get rid of a tireless tracker before it gets any bigger. Can save my murderous rider for something later. Plus, I have another worthy knight that they don't know about. Actually, I'm surprised this deck doesn't play Thought Seize. Feels like it'd be really good to have against any any deck, really. Yep, no blocking. Sadly, this doesn't trigger when I lose token creatures. Just being able to block with those humans would be really nice. Yep, all the clue tokens now. This is definitely Jun then. I think it's better when one, something of mine dies, right? Permanent U controlled, okay. Again, I don't play that card very often. I had to actually buy them to make this deck. Oh, why can't you do green? Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to play the Murderous Rider here to get rid of it. Mine may not be shiny, but it's just as good. Okay. Weird timing. Oh, so they can sag it with Witch's Oven. Okay. Which fizzles this, and now I don't get to cast it. Good play. I'll give you that. I think I'm just going to play the Godless Shrine tapped. So ideally on my next turn I'm looking at uh, Worthy Knight and a Corpse Knight. That way I get three more human tokens. Or do I play it the other way around? I might play it the other way around. Ooh, Corvold, okay. Yikes, that is value town. Oh, why does Jund have to be so value? Oh, I actually thought you would have sacked a food token. I'm surprised. Now I have a 5-5 five, five dragon to deal with. Jesus. Oh yeah, I got the Bout Decree. Never mind. I'm fine. Bye-bye. No more dragon. Are you going to witch's oven it? It's probably going to go in the oven. Make two food tokens. Keep me from scrying. Either way, the dragon's gone. Come on, you can fit that dragon in the oven, I know it. 
Wait, is this a non-foil? Wow, they actually do have non-foils in their deck. I thought this deck was all foil. It's kind of hard to find foils of these, though. Like, anyone that pulls a foil is not going to get rid of it because you have to pay for the damn deck. I know I paid for my Alayla deck, and I'm not getting rid of any of the special cards from it. I really wanted an Alayla and the uh, Arcane Signet for Commander. And they just weren't available on the secondary market, so gotta pay for the deck. Alright, shouldn't take you this long to decide to stick the dragon in the oven. There we go. Oh, that still counts when you sack Corbald? I do not like that they got an extra card out of that. So my spell fizzles. We're going to play the other Worthy Knight. Because reasons. Attack for six. Showing lethal on the board. Gets worse if I play the Corpse Knight and the Dauntless Bodyguard. Because that generates three extra damage. Yeah, I think that's three extra damage I get to deal that way. While we're waiting on their opponent here, in case you guys haven't noticed, I happen to have dual lands or shock lands that are like one of each art, since there's four different arts for them now. Okay, this could be a pain in the ass. Yep, if they sacrifice the devil, it still goes off. Starting to feel like there's a chance we might win this match, which would be really nice. Oh yeah, they got all those food tokens to gain life off of. Oh, they're going to try and take that out. Which is Evan going to sack the devil? Yep. At least I'll draw a card off of this. Okay, I've got six power on board. The corpse knight will be the, uh, the kill shot here. Because playing this, I'll get two tokens that trigger the knight, and then the bodyguard, it'll knock him down to six, and then I've got lethal. So it looks like we pulled this out. We just have to wait for our opponent to actually respond to triggers. I'm starting to wonder if they started another game because they felt like they were losing. They really should make it so you can't double Q on here. Choose the Corpse Knight. And we got it. We actually pulled that one out. So yeah, that is the uh, the Orshav version of White Weenies. Definitely not as good as the Boros, and both of them are not as good as the Silesnia. But uh, not the worst deck. It's definitely got some potential if someone wants to keep working with it. Um, I think I've got a fine start to the deck here. Again, if you want the full deck list... Check the little scrolly McDo thing going by over here. Uh, that link has all my deck lists on Tapped Out, as well as my Patreon, all my social media. Pretty much everything about me is on that link. 
Um, so yeah, until next time, don't forget to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You fuckers know how to use YouTube. Um, and until next time, I'm Jade, and be nice to spiders, because I'm watching you.